everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Homina's Plans and I am back with a long overdue plan with me. Um, this plan with me, it's one of the, I, I don't have my planner in front of me and I could get up and go get it, but that just, you know what? I just got done teaching a class, a fitness class, and I'm sitting on my couch and my planner is in my planner room and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do the voiceover and hope for the best. So this was one of the last weeks of August. It's a long time ago. I've had this footage for months. Um, I've explained this a bunch, but if you're new here and you don't understand where I've been, um, I took a break and I do this every year around the same time every year. I'm a makeup artist and I do a series on my, um, makeup Instagram and also my TikTok and everything called 13 nights of Halloween. I do reels, photos, um, TikToks, obviously that was, that was new. I started that this year. Um, but it's 13 looks in the month of October. It starts on the 19th and it goes all the way to October 31st. Um, and it's 13 different looks in a row and it's very big, elaborate special effects makeup looks. And in order for me to make sure that I have those, you know, perfect, cause I'm a perfectionist, especially when it comes to the art and the skill of makeup, I'm very passionate about it. So I, I get overly critical of myself I try to make sure I have enough time to do that. And in order to do that, I start that in starting around the last week of August. Um, and in order to do that, I, I get myself all set up in our spare room, which also doubles as my planner room and our guest room and everything. And it completely turns into a makeup studio for me. Um, so that way I can get these looks done. So I took a break at the end of August going into September, pretty much all through throughout September. Um, so that way I could do my makeup series and get that done and, you know, have it all ready. So that way when October comes, I can post it because in October, I've mentioned this before, but I work for an entertainment company and our busy season is in October all the way through the end of the year. So, um, everything just kind of got very busy for me there. And I had all of these videos pre-filmed, um, and I do have multiple plan with me's that I need to edit and upload, but it just got to a point where I was like, I could film it, but I didn't have time to edit them. So that's what happened. And then I got completely backed up in October because like I said, that's like the busiest month for us at the entertainment company that I work for. Um, we had a lot of events that we had to go and do. And so I ended up taking like, a, an, I'm in the middle right now of taking another pseudo hiatus. Um, I haven't been filming any of my October spreads. I'm just kind of getting myself caught up. I'm planning on hopefully starting to film again once I get to my Halloween spread. I know I haven't even gotten that. We're at the end of November. Um, but I want to start filming that because I'm also thinking about doing, spoiler, I'm also thinking about doing another plan miss this year. I did that last year to try and get caught up in my planner and I'm thinking about doing it again this year because it's looking like I'm going to be backed up again. So that is the goal that I am hoping to achieve. That was like the longest intro ever, and I haven't even started talking about the kit yet. I'm so sorry, guys. This voiceover is like a hot mess. I haven't done a voiceover in forever. So if I'm all over the place, bear with me. But anyways, that's where I've been. That's what has been happening. Um, I've been promising to upload these plan with me's for so long. I just have not had a chance to sit down and edit them. So if you're still with me, bless you. You're amazing. Um, and I promise I'm coming back. I'm not gone for good. Um, but anyways, let's, I will try and talk about the spread and this, these stickers as best as I possibly can, because like I said, my planner is in the other room, but I do know that this kit is from Sadie stickers. It's in an older format of hers. Her format has like since changed. I want to say like two or three times since this kit was released. This is her June, 2022 kit. Um, it is in silver foil and I love the beachy tones. It was perfect for this week because me and my husband, went um this was this week was the start of like our last vacation that we took um for summer we went with our friends we try to go every year um we like to go to the river um we live about 75 miles north of houston um in a small town and we like to go to the river which is in new Braunfels, which is like near the san antonio area i just gave you guys a big geography lesson <laughs> but 
Um, we try to go there every year, and this year we went with some of our um, very best friends. Um, so, yeah, I, I felt like this kit was perfect. I did pair this kit with a deco sheet from the Sweet Planner. I've been really, obviously, I've been really into doing horizontal sidebars. That's kind of been like the thing, the trend that I have stumbled upon this year, and I've kind of just taken that ball and ran with it. I want to say that all of my... September spreads. All of my September spreads and the majority of my August spreads were horizontal sidebars. I just, I love them so much. I love the freedom and the freeform like ability that I have, especially pairing them with the sweet planner deco sheets and like added deco sheets too. Um, like with all of the add-ons that shops are coming out with these days, it's just like, why not? <laughs> I also loved getting really intricate with my date covers in this one. Um, I did something similar in the spread that I did before this, which was a Tulu Bee spread. RIP Maria's shop. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I miss your stickers. Um, but I used her um, Just Peachy kit in the spread before this one. And I did a similar date cover section. I used those Panda Bird Design half scallops. Um, and this is totally an idea from that I got from the Gathered Layers collection with the date strips and everything that they came out with. Um, I've said this before. I have not picked those up yet because I can't justify it because I, I can I have all these other stickers that I need to use and I need to not buy stickers just to buy stickers, even though let's be honest, I do that all of the time. If you've seen any of my haul videos, you know, your girl's got a sticker buying problem. I look at it as, you know, there are worse things in life to have, you know, to be addicted to. Mine is stickers. Does my bank account love it? No. But it makes me happy and it makes my planner pretty. So <laughs> anyways, I did my own DIY date covers and I pulled in those half scallops from Panda Bird Design with the vine detailing around it. I don't think Jess has those in her shop anymore. I don't know. I have to go and look. Um... I remember, do you guys remember when scallops, like half scallops and like mandalas were the thing in the community? I remember like every single new release, someone was coming out with a new half scallop box. It was like a the thing. So I have so many left over from that era and I'm like, you know, let me just repurpose them and use them in a new way. And so I found this way of doing these date covers and it's made me very, very happy. I love the way that it looked in this spread. Um, okay. I have no idea where we're at right now because I've just been talking. <laughs> um, we're on to Tuesday. So at the bottom of Tuesday, this is an old Sadie Stickers, um, circle frame. She came out with this in an old $2 Tuesday. I remember being so obsessed with these. I purchased like so many of them when she came out with them in a $2 Tuesday. And I think this was like, I used up the very last sheet of it in this spread. And it was like really sad. I'm like, oh no, it's an end of an era. Um, but I layered it with one of these swatch circles that came with the kit and that's to mark that we watched that me and my husband watched a, oh, okay. So I mentioned in, if you guys remember my anniversary plan with me that my husband did with me, we talked about Metalocalypse, which was an old like adult swim cartoon. It ended in 2013. Um, and they ended it on kind of a cliffhanger. And then like left us hanging. And this year, 2023, it was announced that they were coming out with a movie to wrap up the series. And my husband and I were so excited. And it came out on this day, I believe. My husband went and purchased the DVD. We had like a big get together. And we were sitting down with some of our friends to watch this movie. We had been looking forward to it so much. And so that's what I marked down there. I marked it with the um, circle frame and then the swatch circle, um, a bunch of deco. That's actually leftover deco from the Move with the Sea kit from Paper Trail Plans. Oh, I had, I was so happy. Sometimes I look at like the things that I buy, like especially the add-ons for some of these shops. And I'm like, okay, Jen, that was like, was that necessary? Was it necessary? But in my head, I'm like, I know me and I know I'll be able to pull some of this deco into other spreads. So I've said this before, but I will justify my sticker buying purchases until I am blue in the face. Okay. Like I will come up with a reason as to why, like, it's like, 
you know, everyone has like a little angel and a little devil on their shoulders. And it's like the angel's like, Jen, you don't need it. Look at your sticker collection. And then the little, like the little devil on my other shoulder is like, buy all the stickers, buy all the things. The world may end. You never know when you need 12 of the same sticker sheet. Do it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all that being said, I used leftover seashell deco from the Move with the Sea add-on that I got from Paper Trail Plans. Um, moving over to Wednesday, I marked getting up early. I marked that with one of the midi, it was one of those, okay, in Alicia's older formatted kits when you used to get like the small quarter sheet deco add-ons, she used to have like the scallop circles and those tiny little scallop mini boxes. I miss those. Alicia, again, I say this, I'm putting this out there. If you wanted to come out with a sheet of those mini scallop squares, I, I would love that. I would love that so, so much. Um, okay, well, I've moved the page down, so I don't know what was after waking up. I do know that I used an alarm clock icon that my mom made for me. I filmed a pull-in with me, and then I subbed a Zoom class. Um, I've said this before, but on top of the many other things that I do, I... My husband like was told me one time because I, I I have three jobs. He was like, your main job title should be a hustler. <laughs> and that's that I was like, that sounds really bad. He's like, no, but he's like, you hustle girl. And I was like, yeah, it's, yeah I guess you're right. Because I'm a personal trainer. I'm a um, makeup, I'm a movie makeup artist and I work for an entertainment company as well. Um, I'm always go, go, going. Um, and uh, being a personal trainer, I teach online fitness classes twice a week. Um, and I generally teach them on Tuesdays and Fridays, but there are sometimes whenever I sub a zoom class for my sister who I work with, um, in the fitness business. So I mark that in my planner sometimes too, which, you know what, I am telling you guys all this and you may not even care. I am just filling you guys completely in because it has been a long time since I have talked to y'all. <laughs> um, anyways, as always, because I am talking and losing my mind over here and it's going way faster, I think I sped this this plan with me up really fast because I was like, I just want to get this done and edited. So it's moving really fast. So if you have any questions about any of the stickers I lay down, as always, leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to try and remember where the stickers are from, what shop and all of that good stuff. If the stickers were custom because my mom spoils me and she makes custom stickers for me. Okay, so on Thursday, I marked sleeping in. I pulled in one of those notch boxes that came with, that used to come with the um, box add-on that you could buy in Sadie Stickers um, older formats. Um, layered it with some foiled goodness and some florals. The sleep mask icon is a custom that my mom made. I pulled in that flourish. That, I believe, is from Planning Like a Pro. That is like an old, I don't even think... I don't even think Shani's shop is open anymore. I haven't even heard how Shani is doing. I hope she's doing well. Let me know if anyone has like heard from Shani from planning like a pro because my goodness, I miss that girl. Um, okay, and then I marked that I went over to my parents' house and I marked that with a house icon from Crafts by Towie in a quarter box that came with the kit, some more florals and some deco. Oh, okay, and you see here I marked playing with makeup. That was definitely me doing a trial run of one of the looks that I was doing for 13 Nights of Halloween. I distinctly remember um, doing that look and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Um, so that was like me just playing with makeup. And then I ended the night watching TV with my hubby. And to mark that, I pulled in the TV console icon from Crafts by Towie and a bunch of florals and also deco. As always, the deco that I use is primarily from the Pretty Pink Co, Sadie Stickers, and in this spread particularly, um, Paper Trail Plans. Okay, so jumping over to Friday, I pulled in another one of those adorable mini scallop boxes from the kit layered it with some florals and some foil deco. The alarm clock is a custom that my mom made. And this was one of those days that I woke up with a terrible migraine. I've said this before, but I have chronic migraines. They plague me and it's like a roll of the dice. I never know when I'm going to wake up with one. I think it's because I sleep and when I sleep, I clench my jaw. It's one of those things. And then it causes like the world's worst migraine on the planet. And the only thing that works is BC powder, which is basically crushed aspirin, and you take it with a Coca-Cola, and the, something about the caffeine mixed with the crushed aspirin, it just gets into, I don't know, it it works. It's like the magic cure-all. 
Um, but anyways, I had to do that because I also had to teach on this day. This is one of the days that I teach, which is Friday, and we do what we call a power half hour, which is a 30-minute um, cardio blast for your whole body um, during your lunch break on Friday. Um, so I marked that with a little foiled icon from Crafts by Towie. Um, jumping down, I marked that I folded laundry. That is like the never ending thing. Like it's so frustrating that laundry is the one chore that truly never gets completed in your house. It is never ending. You do laundry and then you die. It just is what it is. And it's so frustrating. So I think like the number one primary icon that I have multiple sheets of in multiple different like styles and designs is the laundry icon because I just, I'm forever doing laundry. It's never, it's, it's never, it doesn't stop. It's never going to stop. It's going to continue on forever. And then we die. It just is what it is. <laughs> that got really depressing. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Jumping over to Saturday. Um, I pulled in one of the notched midi boxes that is also, um, used to come on the little box add on that you could get in Alicia's older formats of kits. Um, it's a full colored box. It also has some floral deco added on to it, but I always like to add deco to it myself. Um, I say that like, I mean, I, th I think I have to go through the new format of her kit. I think she has something similar to that in her kits nowadays, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, but anyways, <laughs> jumping down, I marked getting ready for the day and I marked that with some florals and the little makeup compact is from white or stationery. As always, if I, you see a colored icon in my spreads, it is 99%. I'm 99% sure it's from white or stationery. The two icons that I, that I, I limit the, the amount of icons that I use. I used to not care. Like back in the day, I used to like just throw whatever icon into my spreads. And nowadays it's like, I stick to a formula. Generally my foiled icons are from Crafts by Towie or their customs that my mom made. Very recently though, I just, um, I bought a whole mess of icons from JK Creates Co. I love the style of her icons. I'm, I'm actually going to post a haul very, very soon. I have a bunch of like Christmas and winter stickers that I need to haul. Um, and I bought like, oh my gosh, I went ham sandwich buying icons for JK Creates Co. So, um, that's going to be a new an icon that I add into my rotation. But generally speaking, colored icons in my spreads are from White or Stationery. Foiled icons are from Crafts by Towie. Um, okay, so jumping down, I marked that um, we had a birthday party for one of our very good friends and also my husband's lead guitar player in his band. Um, I marked that I got home late and I pulled a Lauren and marked pack yo bags because we were leaving for the river the next day. Speaking of Lauren, Lauren, if you're watching my video, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I haven't seen a plan motion plan video in so long and I miss you, dear. I hope you're doing well. Um, but the colored suitcase icon, obviously, like I said, it's a colored icon. It's from White Deer Stationery. Um, okay. Jumping over to Sunday, I marked getting up early and I marked that with another one of those midi scallop boxes that used to come with the add-on from Sadie Stickers. Pulled in a bunch of foil deco. Um, the alarm clock icon is from, no, that's not from Crafts by Towie. That's one that my, that's a custom that my mom made for me. I pulled in another flourish from Planning Like a Pro. Um, I marked that I cleaned the kitchen because this is a day that we were leaving to go out of town and we were having someone come over to watch our kitty cats for us. It, um, we had a friend come and house sit and cat sit for us so we could go out of town. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the kitchen was nice and clean and everything was all tidy. So to mark cleaning the kitchen, I pulled in uh, that dirty dishes icon from White Deer Stationery. Then I marked that we traveled to New Braunfels, which is where we were going for vacation. And to mark that, I pulled in the big arch box that came with the older format journaling kit from um, from Sadie Stickers that matched the kit, the weekly spread, obviously. Um, and I really like what I did to layer it here. I pulled in the little road icon from um, White Deer Stationery, and then my mom made custom RAV4 icons for me, like foiled RAV4 icons for me. I, I have a RAV4, and so my mom pulled up a blueprint and made custom RAV4 icons. And so I made it look like the RAV4 is driving on the road, which I don't know, to me, it just like made my heart happy to look at that. I was like, oh, it's like it's driving on the road. How great. <laughs> um, then um, I did this out of order, but I marked go, um, going to the pool with our friends at the resort that we were staying at. And when we got to New Braunfels, it's an New Braunfels is like a German 
town. Like, it, it's very German-themed and everything. Like, the water park Schlitterbahn is there and everything. And there was this German restaurant that we went to called Krause's. And, oh, my gosh, there was a wild story that happened there. Like, when we were there, we were waiting on our food. And, like, all of a sudden, all these EMTs came in because someone passed out when they were eating. It was, it was wild. It was a trip. But, anyways... These are the leftovers that I have for this um, kit along with a Viv Wiggle. I'm sorry that this voiceover was all over the place. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Jen. I do planner things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying well, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.